you're about to get into your wrestling career. You started in hustle, I guess. You're pro wrestling, sorry, not amateur, not to be confused. Mm -hmm. My pro wrestling career started, uh, I won the Grand Prix. Well, actually, I was trying to get into the WWF or the WWE, whichever it was called back then. Uh, they brought Shamrock in. He did a great job. They bought uh, the the other company brought Tank Abbott in. Um, Tank, uh, your gimmick didn't work, but he got paid well. He got paid very well, but he never even had to go to work because. And then Dan Severn, love you to death, but I was next in line. I was after them four guys. I was, I became the big UFC champion, and I wanted to pro wrestle. But the WWE had kind of had their questions about these UFC fighters. And they heard stories that I might be difficult to deal with, so. I didn't get my I didn't get my chance in the WWE, which I think I would have succeeded. But uh, over in Pride, they started Pride uh, Japan. Uh, their pro wrestling is more old school, traditional. You know, not uh, all the showmen, the interviews, and all this and that. It was like more. Let's make it real. Okay, so. Well, I, I win the Pride Grand Prix and uh, Pride offers me no bonus, no raise, no nothing. And uh, my negotiating guy just decided we're gonna wait till they come up. I want more money. I just won the Pride Grand Prix. I think I want more money. But then my break came when uh, Pride teamed up with, uh, I think, the NWA, big organization in Japan, and uh, they asked me if I could pro wrestle. And I said, well, yeah, I think so. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be the main event in the N NWA versus uh, Yuji Nagata, superstar over there in Japan. And uh, they flew me in 10 days before the show. I thought I was going to have a 10-day uh, cramming learning session. No, these guys, Yuji Nagata didn't show up into Tokyo until the night before the wrestling match. And we met, we discussed it a little bit. And then basically in front of 30,000 people, I, I, my first pro wrestling match, I think it lasted over 20 minutes with Yuji Nagata and uh, wow. That was, that was cool. That was cool. And, mm, and I was concerned about if I'm gonna be able to, you can always keep learning. Luckily I had a, uh, an American Steve Carino over there and he, he warned me. He said, he said, look, when you guys are locked up, they might whisper in your ear, but don't listen stay strong and I was I was there as Mark Coleman the Pride Grand Prix champion and the Olympic wrestler well I don't give much in pro wrestling you have to give and take but I'm not going to give much and uh, I was it was so cool and then it took us out to eat afterwards and I ate a lot of sushi they even brought out some whale meat Sorry, but I had to eat it. Wow, whale well, meat's good.